What's good, Cardano fam? Ada Gang, we have tons of exciting updates to cover in this video, so hit the subscribe, hit the like. Just in, Cardano Ada has 62% total Ada staked. Fantastic. Cardano Ada has 30,000 active addresses in the last 24 hours. Chris O says, Cardano fam, regardless how you feel about the candidate, most likely the next US president being publicly this pro crypto is insanely positive for all of us. After two years getting kicked in the shorts, this is refreshing. Of course, this follows after that successful bipartisan support for FIT21. The United States, guys, wants to cement itself as a leader in crypto. Very refreshing, very exciting to see how this evolves. And we're going to see so much capital come in. We see discussion on more and more ETFs. Solana, we see another Cardano uh, ETP, ETF uh, going in Germany. We see how the opposition also, both parties, every single party uh, wants to go pro crypto. And it's to the benefit of their riding, it's to the benefit of the people and more capital comes in and it will just blossom so many good things, so many more pros than cons. So Trump here says that he's very positive and open-minded to cryptocurrency companies. We saw him recently accept donations. So however you feel about these candidates on any side, I like to just be a libertarian, like in the middle. Um, I don't like to identify with politics and colors, you know, but uh, I would love to see the most pro-crypto support because pro-crypto is pro-sovereignty. Pro-sovereignty has a lot of similar values, um, especially with the debasement of the dollar. Uh, so however you think about him, it is what it is. All these uh, politicians, you know, there's good and bad, but I would love to see a very pro-crypto clarity business booming, economy booming uh, United States. It will benefit the rest of the world. Cardano fam, this is the best timeline. The political machine is racing to court us. Good, let's make them pay. And this is what I'm saying, how they're all going to be running to the races for this election of being pro-crypto. Now, hopefully they deliver on their promises if they, you know, we'll see what happens. Only time can tell, you know, action is in, uh, truth is in action. In response to a tweet here, Trump just declared, I will support the right to self-custody. I'll keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. Let's check it out. The future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA, not driven overseas. I will support the right to self-custody to the nation's 50 million crypto holders. I say this with your vote. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. I mean, it's pretty good. It's, you know, it's, it's, that's a pretty good statement to say. You gotta, you know, it keeps it short and sweet. You know, definitely, I, I would like to have my Bitcoin protected away from like goons, you know, so why not? And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. I don't know. I, I mean, I understand the bad with CBDC, but there's gotta be some good. There's gotta be some good, no? There's got to be some good of CBDC and there's already invasive stuff. I'm not asking for more invasion of privacy. I'm just saying that like, you know, truth is somewhere in between with um, uh, CBDCs and whatnot. Chris, so again, Cardano fam. Wow. I'll keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from crypto. And so, you know, we'll see what happens with this. Um, a nice little summer summary here. Um, just to recap. Donald Trump vowed to support the right of self-custody of crypto users. He also said that he would never allow CBDC, which would conflict with the core ethos of Bitcoin and crypto. Unlike the Biden administration, Donald Trump vows to make America the leader in the crypto space. So who knows exactly what will happen? You know, links to all these articles is in the video description. And yeah, like... I think we can still have like CBDCs. I think it's going to be the intent because like, look at, look at without CBDC where we've gone so far. Like look at the traditional fiat and the debasement of the dollar, right? The corrosion of the dollar, the no more uh, gold standard of the dollar. These legacy w ways, uh, you know, they haven't been doing so well. Now can CBDC go out of control for sure? But again, it, it comes back to, I think, context here. And it, it definitely needs to be expanded upon. It's kind of a gross generalization. But we'll see what happens with CBDC. We'll see what happens in terms of um, 
the support from the rest of like corporations and donations that these parties are going to start taking and the influence and what ends up happening. I really am rooting. I don't care who gets elected. I just would love to see freedom and a bustling economy and the lives of people improve. You know what I'm saying? And as much as peace as possible for uh, the world. But, you know, it's a tough it's a balancing act. It's a tough thing for these uh, leaders. So there's good and bad, however you look at it. But I'm definitely going for pro-crypto. I would be voting for the more pro-cryptocurrency candidate personally. That's how I see it. At least in Canada here, um, if I vote for Justin, you know, he's like anti-crypto. Pierre at least sees the value in Bitcoin and sees the value in cryptocurrency. So again, yeah, I think it's important for candidates to be forward thinking. And there's always room to change. There's always room to keep, uh, you know, I think people might not have expected Joe to just um, let this slide. So we'll see what happens though. Only time can tell. Let me know what you guys think about the future of Cardano, guys. There's a lot of uh, juicy stuff going on right now. I'm very excited that uh, Cardano has been operating for so long with very no interruptions and uh, almost two thirds of the Cardano uh, ADA is being staked. So it's excellent, guys. Uh, we're gonna keep watching Cardano. Price, if it comes down lower, I'm gonna be scooping up some more. Um, I'm always looking to buy more in that 25 to 40 cent range. Maybe it won't go lower though. Uh, crypto's really chilling right now and I think we're waiting for more consensus from Judge Torres and the rest of the cryptocurrency space to move forward past this kind of like bearish summer moment. But the fact that we're chilling right now at these levels, 70K BTC and whatnot, is quite uh, remarkable to say the least. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the next Anchor Crypto Show.